Hi guys, for this week's note for ROM of the week, definitely check out the latest, the latest version of Resurrection Remix. Uh, this is gonna get you on the latest Android 7.1.1. Of course, this is an AOSP ROM. You're gonna probably lose all your TouchWiz features. So if you install this ROM, um, just know that you're gonna get a pure Android, uh, just like Nexus phones, all right? Uh, working really well, you can install it on pretty much uh, any Note 4 running Qualcomm, including the T-Mobile. I've got the 910F here, which I've got it installed. Uh, everything works out of the box. Actually, Note 4 is one of the better supported uh, phones for the Resurrection Remix uh, for the latest version. Now, uh, performance is pretty good. It's not the best I've seen. Uh, I've got about 81,000 on N22, very respectable number. Um, I've also disabled my hardware buttons because I really like the soft key so much. I'll show you all of that. Um, let me go ahead and show you all the different uh, customization you can do, which is the highlight uh, of this ROM, of course. All right, if you go into configurations, um, you'll be able to customize. Look at all this stuff you can do. Uh, I've customized my clock with the date and center it, uh, which is pretty awesome. You got brand logos if you want to enable RR logo. Um, let me go ahead and clear this out real quick. Uh, you will be able to get um, your branded logos. Also custom logos if you want, uh, battery, system icons. Um, a lot of this you may have seen before with other ROMs, so let me go ahead and move on to some of the more, more interesting ones here. Uh, notification panel, right? Not too much there, just change the colors. Header, header image is kind of fun to mess with. Uh, task manager, volume panel, power dialogue, um, notifications, right? And going into recents, um, you can go ahead and change out the recent styles um, to however you want, all right? Um, you can use slim recents if you want. And of course, quick settings, tile layout, layout is pretty big here. Um, I've increased everything so I can fit more tiles here, which is great. You know, you can go ahead and reorganize all that. Um, so I really like that. Advanced, oops, here we go. Um, you can also get a uh, brightness slider. Um, this is sort of big Wi-Fi, easy toggle, Bluetooth. Oh, with these easy toggles on, you'll be able to um, easily toggle your Bluetooth Wi-Fi just like the way it was in Marshmallow, uh, which is kind of nice. And my favorite part here is not the, well, there's a bunch of lock screen you can do, but uh, weather options, security, um, also gestures. You got gesture anywhere, app circle bar, uh, three finger gesture uh, for screenshots. So if you enable this, if you go into interface and if you go into a screenshot crop and share if you turn that on if you don't want to screenshotting to like something like Instagram or something um, you could change this to uh, drag selection so now what I can do uh, whenever I'm taking a screenshot you do the three finger right and now what will happen is that you'll be able to resize uh, your screenshot right there right after you take it that's pretty much all you gotta do. Oops. Sorry, it's a little buggy with the soft keys, so try to not use the soft keys, but um, sort of an advanced way of taking a screenshot. So I thought that was really cool. And also buttons. Um, you can go ahead and disable hardware keys or you can enable it. Uh, if you enable it, um, you can also customize the actions. So I've changed uh, for example, one of the easier ways to access your camera, change the uh, double tap into camera. So I got double tap, oops, double tap, and it goes straight to my camera or anything you want, which is really nice, right? Uh, or if you want to use soft keys, you can disable it completely. Go to navigation bar, enable um, your soft keys here, down here. Oops, make sure you enable them. Um, you can also change uh, navigation mode to fling, additional options. I mean, it is a ton of fun to play with. Also, you can change the font, display size, LCD density, uh, miscellaneous stuff here. All right, alarm blocker, 
Wake Walker. Um, so an excellent choice to run if you want to sort of get the latest Android 7.1.1. I do highly recommend Resurrection Remix. Also, if you want a lot of customization, um, definitely check it out. Installation is straight, straightforward. Just reboot into Twerp, uh, in, you know, do a factory reset, install ROM, install G apps, uh, and reboot. That's pretty much it. I would definitely check it out. One of my favorite ROMs. Um, now it's available, very, very solid on the Note 4. And yes, there is a Google Assistant you can also use. All right, Google Assistant now rolled out so you could use um, Google Assistant. Overall, very excellent ROM. I should have some TouchWiz ROMs coming soon too, but in the meanwhile, definitely check this out. Love it. Uh, running flawless on the Note 4. And as always, stay on Android. Hi, click here to subscribe. Click here to subscribe.